Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and a little segment that I like to call Let's Talk About It. And today, we got the swag store and what purchases are smart, not smart to buy. So, let's talk about it. Alright, let's view all in the swag store. Now, if you are a new player in this game and, or you just really haven't paid attention much to this stuff, why isn't that loading in? Render in. Okay. Uh, you might not know a whole lot about this stuff and uh, what actually you should be buying and what you shouldn't be buying out of here. And I'm going to break it down for you a little bit. Now, I don't have everything available in my store right now that you could buy. So we're going to be hindered to what I have in my store right now. But I could talk about some other things that are in here. Now, one thing that I'm going to talk about is buying TP, TP bags, TP bag one, two, and three. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think TP bags are trash in the swag store. I don't buy any of them. I've never bought one of these TP bags in the swag store and felt like I actually got the kind of value out of the TP that I spent out of the faction coins as opposed to what I could get if I pick something else. So I rule those out right away. I couldn't tell you the last time I bought a TP bag. It's just not going to happen. All right. So after TP bags, we have recruitment bags recruit new superstars to your roster so you can get premium chips or you can get shards for a bunch of trash superstars that you get for free in the game anyways so i mean if you're brand 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 new in the game and you don't have these guys this would be a great way to get these guys all right but let's face it if you spent any time any kind of time in this game you don't need to buy these so we're gonna throw recruitment bags out too we ain't gonna buy them so no tp no recruitment bags. So let's look at what's left. These shiny blue bags here. Faction bag too. And by the way, the middle tier on everything is the best cost to payout ratio of any of them. The number two bag on every category is going to be your best buy. Best buy for sure. So the faction bag too, you're going to look. You can get faction tokens or coins. So faction tokens are great. When feud time, blitzes, all the time. Stocking up on those can't really go wrong. But I would still have that middle tier on my list buying those. The two categories that I'm going to focus on big time and what I spend all of my faction coins on are token bags and essential money bags. So with the token bags, I will buy, and I don't have any, oh, I do have a three. Okay, here's a token bag three. And in here, you have all these tokens. You get three to five items, but all these rarities and props are in here too. But I'm going to tell you what, I feel like I get burned on this token bag every single time. And if you look in this token bag, there's not even three star tokens in the bag. They're only two and one stars. But if you look at token bag two, look at that. There's three star tokens in the bag. So why would you spend all that extra money to buy the big bag to get less rewards? Now, a lot of times I stay away from the tier 1 bags on any of them, but token bag 1, uh, you can only get those uh, 1 and 2 star tokens, you can get some props, alright? If I can get props for cheap off of these bags, I'm going for it. Like, if I'm out of props, I'm going to buy these all day. I'll buy this one right now, 480. See if we get some, but you get blitz tickets from these bags as well, so that was a terrible prop to get. All right, it's not always going to pay off for you, but I will buy these occasionally. I don't usually. See, there's a two-star token and some Gauntlet Blitz tickets. That was a good buy for 600 Faction Coins. What I do like to buy, however, is Token Bag 2, and I pretty much soak these up as much as I can. As long as I've got some other things in order that we're about to get to, I buy a lot of Token Bag 2, because you're always going to get good Blitz tickets and two-star silver tokens that you need. So I buy those a lot. But my number one buy in the store is definitely going to be the Essential Money Bag 2. Now with the Money Bags, I don't have any Tier 3s in here now. But if I'm juiced on Faction Coin, I will buy the Tier 3 bags. Because if you look in this one, you see 5 to 10 health packs and 10 to 100,000 coins. In the Money Bag 3, you have up to 50 health packs that you can get. And uh, I've dropped that 50 bomb a bunch of times. So this is the best way. Everybody said, how do you get health packs? How do you save health packs? 
if you save all your faction coins and you only ever buy this bag right here, Essential Money Bag 2, you will build a ton of health packs up. And if you only use one a day, that's how you do it. But I'll buy this right now, 1,800. I think I only have one of them. Look at that, three items. So we get five heals, 25K coins, and another five heals. Like, that's fantastic. Ten heals, boom, just like that. I kind of stay away from the money bag ones because if you look in there, you can only get one to five health. So a lot of times I'll open that, I'll get one health pack and 5K coin. It's like, eh, not a good thing. With something else like these other token bags, I'll spend a little bit on the one because if I get one good prop, one prop, that was worth the pull. So whereas like if I get one health pack, it's not worth the pull. Like you need a bunch of health packs. So that's basically it, guys, when it comes down to it. So remember, faction bag two, token bag two, token bag one, money bag two, money bag three. And really, if you want to break it down to what's most important, token bag two, money bag two, by far the best ones. Essential money bag two, by far the best buy in the swag store. What do you guys spend your faction coins on? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd like to get a discussion going on this, but I think what I've said will hold true to a lot of people, so... Hopefully I've helped even one person with this video. If I have, smash that like button down below. But until next time, guys, peace. If you enjoy my content and would like to support the channel, the best way to do so is to give it a like rating with a thumbs up underneath. And hey, consider subscribing to stay up to date with the latest content.